Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In today's video, I'm going to continue the topic from my last one, which is to install the third-party plugin to Con. And this time, I will cover the installation of Go plugin. Let's get started. First of all, let me open my terminal and a browser. Then I will go to my blog and this blog post. Go to the Go plugin session. As we know, Con is written in Lua, so the installation of the Lua plugin is relatively easy. For Go plugin, it's a little bit different because Go plugin runs on a different process than Con itself, which means we need a Go plugin server to serve the request through Go plugins. Um, there are two methods of um, using the plugin server. The first way is to have a stand standalone plugin server. And, uh, and the plugin itself. So you will have two files. One is for plugin server, the other one is for the plugin. The other one is to embed your plugin server to your plugin itself. Let me use the official ripple as an example. So this is the, um, the, the Go plugin file, which doesn't have the server uh, embedded. And the other one has the server embedded here. Let me show you how to use both files, okay? Because we need to build a Go plugin server and the Go plugin itself. Uh, in my opinion, the best way to use Go plugin is to uh, build a custom image. Let me show you how. So this is our terminal. And let's just start by writing a Docker file. Copy, paste. Um, it is quite straightforward. So we use Golan Alpine image as the builder. Uh, install some um, dependencies and create a folder, copy the file here to our um, folder, the newly created folder. And then we just initialize the project, uh, build a Go plugin server, and then build the plugin itself. After that, I will use Con um, 2.4 Alpine image as the base, and then just copy these two files to different locations. Oh, it's quite straightforward. Let's save it and let's build it. Docker build. As you can see, it's the same build command from the last video. We are just building a new image named con demo. And this dot means the Docker file is inside the same folder. All right, so it's finished. Let's just start con with this plugin. Okay, so there are two methods of using um, the Go plugin here. We, one, one is the old style, which you can see here. You will need to tell Con where the plugin server uh, file is and where the where is the Go plugin directory, uh, which is here. User local bin is the Go plugin server, and temp Go plugin is where to find the Go plugin files. The new style is to tell Con what, what type of plugin server you are using. So um, we will use Go um, plugin server. And because we put this file under the bin folder, we can just call a uh, user straight away. Um, and these are just some parameters and dump all plugins and plugin directories, which is here. I will show you both. Uh, let's just uh, remove here and copy the old style first and paste start so as you can see I, uh, this environment variable is to enable the go hello plugin and this is the old style of the environment variable let's just check if it's installed um, yeah yes it is uh, you can see here it's enabled let's just stop this container and build again, but this time we will use the new style of the environment variable. Copy, paste, delete, then copy again, paste again, run it. And we should see the same result. Yes, we are getting the same result. Uh, so this is the first method to build a standalone plugin server here and the plugin itself. 
Next, I'm going to show you how to build um, the embedded plugin server. So let's just stop the container. And remove the Docker file. And copy here, paste here. This is simpler than the previous one because what we have is one file um, and we don't need to build a separate plugin server here. Just build one and that's all. And we only need to copy one as well to our, to our, to our new image. So let's just save it and build again. All right, even the build time is quicker. Okay, that's good. So let's start con again and use the environment variable, which is here. You can see here, even the environment variable is a simpler. So what we does is we tell con um, this environment what, what is the plugin server name, which is go hello in this time. Um, you see the name here, go hello. And then the go hello query command is go hello to dump because it is um, also the plugin itself. Um, it's the server and the plugin itself. So we can just write it like that. Uh, let's remove this line, copy here, paste. Okay, let's check. Yep, so the plugin is enabled. So these are the two methods you can um, use the Go plugin, either by um, building a standalone plugin server or to embed your plugin server to your plugin file. And the last bit, I'm going to show you how to use this um, uh, official demo plugin. Uh, it's very simple. As usual, I deploy con in deepless mode, so I'm going to uh, post my configs via the uh, config endpoint. Let me show you. So first I will copy these configs and save it as test.yaml. It's very simple. I only got one service, one route, and slash demo is the route path and enable the plugin globally. Um, then I can, um, I'm just adding one message to header. This is what this plugin does. It's called hello from go plugin. You can modify this message to whatever. So hello world, maybe save it. And then let's just pay, post this um, config to con. Looking good. Then I will I'm going to call this route. Okay. As you can see here, there is a header x hello from go, go says hello world from go plugin to localhost 8000. Um, so basically this plugin is just adding a header to the response. All right, so that's all I want to show you today. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. And if you have any topics you want me to cover, please also leave me some comment or give me some ideas. Thank you for watching and see you next time.